everybody, welcome to Board Online, Board Offline. Today we've got a playthrough video of Palm Island for you. This is a solo game. It's Well, it's not just solo, it's also uh, a two-player game and it can be a competitive game or a cooperative game or uh, even more than two players if you buy an extra uh, set of cards. And so it's got a lot of different things going on, but the standard way to play is a solo game with just the standard cards. There are extra cards. There's like extra little kind of modules that you can add in. I'm just gonna play standard game here with the standard uh, cards and I'm gonna show you how it works. It's kind of cool. You're basically upgrading your cards, but it's what you might call a four-sided card in that uh, the active side is the side on top. So on each face of the card, there's two possible active sides and you flip it over and there's two more possible active sides. All right, so let's get right into the game and uh, yeah, let's see how I do. All right, so here we go. We are starting our game of Palm Island. All right, so right off the bat, we've got housing. Obviously, we don't have any resources ready to use, so we can't do this one. Can't do the trade house uh, because we don't have any of those two resources or any of the other ones either. So flip that to the back. All right, here we go, free. We'll do this one. All right, and so now, let's see, now we could do this for the trade house, um, which would flip it over to this, which would make it better for next time. You can see that is level zero. This one is level one down here. Uh, I also could, you know what, well, we got this. Let's go and flip this one out so we can kind of see what else is available. Okay, so now, Here's what we got to decide. If for the housing, if I flip this one over, I'm going to go ahead and start earning points. But I'm going to lose if I don't. If uh, if I do that, I'm going to obviously use those resources. And I lose my opportunity to. Now I could flip this over actually with the wood. And what do we have back here? Another level one. This gives me a lot of fish. Hmm. It gives me the opportunity to get to this level two, which has all the stone. Ooh, I'm gonna wait on this one. I have a feeling I have more opportunities to flip that over. So the question now is, do I go with the ex excessive amount of wood or, or the uh, fish back here? Wood is, is more common, I think, or easier to get a hold of than the fish. So I am gonna go ahead, we'll use the wood. So we spin the wood and then flip that over. That goes to the back. All right, so now we've got the housing and a market. Okay, here we go. So one fish will allow us to activate the market and get some stone that we can use. All right, so nothing we can do here, so that goes to the back. Okay, go ahead and store that fish all right so now nothing we can do with either one of these so that temple will go to the back all right again nothing we can do here hmm still nothing all right sometimes especially at the beginning of the game you're going to run through a number of these cards without being able to do much okay now Let's look at this. We can use a fish to either flip it over, flip the canoe house over so we have access to two fish for free. Uh, let's see what's on the other side of this real quick because we could also flip it over this way and get a fish and a wood for free. All right, so here, let's get this back up here. All right, so we will, I'm gonna flip it over. Uh, I'm gonna, yeah, here we go. We'll turn it around. All right, so we'll have that next time for the canoe house. All right, and then go ahead and turn the logger, save that. All right, so now anything we can do here? No. All right, so we've got the quarry and another quarry, exactly the same thing, nothing we can do. All right, so now we've got a logger which we can store that log. Now we can do, oh, we're at the end of the round, so just in time we can uh, rotate this one over. I think that's what we'll do. 
So we spin those two logs and turn that over. Uh, so we actually have, we'll be able to use that quarry next time to get some stone. Stone is really one of the harder resources to get a hold of, so it's important to get that uh, more available as quickly as possible. All right, so we're moving into round two. Again, housing. Okay, so we do have the canoe house, which we can activate, and a logger, which we can activate or store. And now the trade house. Get up to level two, get a lot of stone, but we'll give up all that fish. But I think, I think that's what we're gonna. Oh wait, or you know what? Let's go ahead and get some. Let's let's go ahead and do this. Let's use the log and fish, the wood and fish, to rotate over. So, so now we're getting one victory point already for our housing, upgrading that housing. All right, and now. Oh man, and now though we are going to lose that. Yep, so that goes to the back, at which point this now gets unstored and goes to the back. That's kind of rough. All right, but now let's store that fish from the canoe house. We're back to this. Nothing we can do with this temple. The two temples, the two temples in a row, that's going to kind of suck because if you can't do anything with one, you definitely can't do anything with the other. All right, and this quarry, we haven't been able to upgrade it yet, so nothing we can do there. But at least we do have this upgraded canoe house now. So flip that out there. Okay, so now with this, we could go ahead and upgrade this logger using this. Or if we store this log, then we can open up this quarry. Uh, I think that's what we're going to do. All right, so I take that log out there. And then, ooh, or we can use the two fish, actually. Oh, I didn't even see that. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Put that back. Put that back in there. Okay, that's what we're going to do. So we'll take these two fish. Get that quarry over there. So as you can see, if I had done it this way, it's basically the same thing as this one. But this one, we're now one step closer to getting two victory points and having access to two stone. All right. Okay, so now store that log. Okay, and nothing we can do here. All right, so here's another logger. We'll store that wood. And we can use both of those to open up that quarry. All right, and go and store that stone, and that's the end of the second round. On to round three. All right, uh, let's see. So, store that fish, and store the log. Oh, look at this. Log, fish, and stone. Perfect. Let's go to do it. Let's upgrade the housing. Let's get these points while we have it available to us. Boom. Now this size worth three points. We can get up to six if we can do it one more time. All right. Now, unfortunately, though, we're going to have to throw the trade house in the back. Nothing we can do with that. And, okay, now we've got the canoe house, which will let us now activate the market. All right, so we'll do that so we can get some stone going here. Okay, nothing we can do here. The housing, and then isn't there another temple? Yep, another temple. Okay. Okay, here we go. So let's get the canoe house going again. So we have stone, log, and fish. And, oh, here we go. This will work. So take the quarry for free. And now we have the two stones, one fish and one log to upgrade our temple. So let's go there, that goes in the back. Okay, so obviously we're gonna do that. This tool maker, I would really like to upgrade this tool maker, but we keep missing our opportunity. We're gonna need a, a fish, oh, really a fish would be great here. We've got two logs. All right, we've got the, 
Well, actually, we're getting close to this right here, which well, that's actually the maximum. You can go straight to the maximum up upgrade. The difference is on the back, you actually have resources that it'll give you for free. Uh, so let's see what, oh, and um, yeah, okay. So now we're maxed out on, re we've got four resources stored, four resource cards stored here. And unfortunately, there's nothing that can happen here. So again, the tool maker is going to the back without being upgraded. All right, on to round four. All right, this is four out of eight that we're working on here. Or I guess, no, actually, that was the end of round four, right? So we're, um, yeah, so anyway, point is, when we get to eight, game over. Um, all right, so, hmm. What else do we have here? Oof. All right, well, I guess let's do this. Let, so we have, we're maxed out here. We'll take this one since it's closest to coming back to the front where we lose it, and then we'll store this one. All right, so let's neaten that up a little bit. All right, so now we've got this housing. We need two logs, which we have, two stones, which we have, but the fish are still causing a problem for us. But they're gonna have to go to the back. Or or actually, hold on. Do I want to go ahead and store fish instead and get rid of we'll get rid of the log because like I said, the wood generally is easier to come by, so we'll put the fish back here. That's what we'll do. Yeah. Okay, and let's see. Do we go with the level two trade house? Or do we just get the fish? Well, you know what? What just recently we're having problems getting fish. So you know what? Let's we'll take the two stone. Bring the fish out here. All right. And of course, here's some fish. But you know what? Let's do this. We'll use this fish. Now we can either flip it over over to down here, rotate it over, I mean, or we can flip it this way. Hmm. Let's go to this side. All right, so we'll take one fish. Remember this one's right here, okay? And that goes to the back. All right, so now where are we at? We have this right here. We Do we have enough? We do. We could with the market. Okay, what's on the other side? Yeah, all right, we're gonna take, we're gonna do this option here and upgrade the market to that side. Remember again, the housing is still here. All right, that goes to the back. All right, so now we're gonna have two housings in a row here, which I believe is followed by two temples in a row and nothing we can do with any of these. And that's where a lot of our points come from. So that kind of hurts a little bit, but, oh wait, 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 wait. I went too fast there. Got ahead of myself because this is available right here. All right, so take that and Take that. So again, nothing we can do with this. Because we have the one, we have the one, but we only have one of those. We need two. Nothing we can do there yet either. All right, so that'll go to the back. Okay, so what do we have here? Okay, now we could upgrade to, see, we'll start getting victory points for upgrading this logger. And I think yeah, that's what we're gonna do. That's, that's definitely that's gonna be our best option here. So there we go. And then here we'll just store that wood and store that stone. And now see we're lacking fish again. So 
I wonder if it's worth trying to hold on to this a little bit longer because we're about to lose we're about to lose that log though so let's just do that all right and now you can see I'll actually I'll store see I don't know I, I'm not sure let's do oh hold on here's what I'll do pull this back out so let's say if this was here I will store or I will spend that log to store this stone that way and now now we're here and I can now spend that stone to store that log so now we're back to where we were with that okay so we didn't didn't lose anything there and now we need more fish the fish are really were messing us up here so let's keep that in mind we need more fish all right and all right end of a round okay all right so going on to five all right so we'll just store that fish because we need fish we keep keep realizing that right we keep running out of the fish and here we will use the two stone to get the three fish all right and then do we use yes yes so we'll use that log and fish to flip that over and now we've got the fully upgraded canoe house which for free gets us a wood and two fish which is pretty great all right and now let's see hmm I really if I want to upgrade this housing I feel like I need to hold on to these three fish so I don't think I'm going to spend them to do to like spend three fish to then get a log and a stone that doesn't really make sense so let's push the market to the back and oh but it doesn't matter because i forgot the housing behind a housing all right but here we can do this we'll be able to for free do that and then we can upgrade this housing with that all right so that's good now free and for free so no I'm not gonna spit no yeah we'll just do that again for free okay so now here we are so what we need to upgrade this temple is one log one fish and two stone what's on the back of this quarry hold on two stone for free so do I, the question is do I spend my two logs and all three of these fish to upgrade that quarry which then in the future will get me two stones which a lot of these have been requiring more stone than I've been able to get at a time so that really could be worth it or do I use one log or, or do I do I or do I store this stone I'm saying which would make me spend a log to do that and then use the one log two stone and all three of those fish to upgrade this temple. I think I'm going to upgrade my quarry. So that takes two logs, and I'm gonna have to spend all three of those fish to do it. But now I can get two stone for free. Okay, so now where are we at? Uh, let's get that stone out there, okay. And get that wood out there. fish out there hmm oh oh look I can do the, the temple right now two stone one log and one fish all right there we go okay but now of course trade house goes away and then temple goes away oh well, hold on yep temple goes away and then the tool maker, which is right next to the round card. That finishes round six. All right, now 
Here we go for free. We have a log and two fish or wood and two fish. And hmm. Yeah, not worth it. So I'll put that in the back. All right. So now we've got this for free. Or if I rotate, ooh, if I rotate it over, it, or if I, yeah, if I, so if I spend all that, then I'll have a second canoe house just like it, which could be good in these final, final rounds. Let's do it. All right, but now we've got the housing. Okay, so quarry, logger, another logger, and two stone, or they've got the quarry there. Okay, Cause, yeah, that's maxed out. All right, so, hmm. Housing goes to the back. Well, no, let's do this. Let's, we'll spend that stone so we can store that one. All right. I'm trying to keep this housing up here. If I just find a fish, then I'll be able to upgrade my housing. So I'm gonna spend that log or that wood to store that wood. All right, here we go. So here's the fish. All right, I'm gonna need I'll spin that wood to store that fish. And now, one wood, one fish, one stone. Right here, those three. Keep that one. Those three. I'll go to the back. All right, and that lets me upgrade my house, okay, to level two. So now, we're going to spend those two to get those fish out there. Now we've got these temples again. They're back to back again. Uh, okay. And the tool maker. So that means we're at the end of a round again. That was the end of round s or. Yeah, end of round seven. So finally. This is so. This is the last round right here. We're in round eight, so we got to get what we can here. A lot of fish now. Okay. Still nothing doing here. No stone. Um. Is it worth it to you? No, I don't think so. Put that out there. Put that back there. Okay. So now. Ah, uh, here we go. Okay. Ooh, actually, if we if we won't be able to use this, but we will get points. Whereas if we upgrade the housing right now, but the housing's worth three extra points. That's worth two extra points. So uh, we'll actually just store that stone. Oh, but no, that's not even guaranteed. Hold on, hold on. I want to make sure we get as many points as we possibly can. So I will actually use the two fish and one wood to upgrade the quarry. Okay. All right, so now I've got a logger and get a point here if we do that one. Yeah, let's do that, let's get the point. Uh-oh, whoops, losing my cards here a little bit. Okay, there we go. All right, so, all right, cool, quarry, good. We are missing one log and then we'd be able to do that. So here it is, all right. We will drop that stone back in there. All right, get that log out. Oh, there we go. Okay. All right, and so now with this, we have the two logs, the two fish, and the two stone. Okay. 
and we have fully upgraded that housing. That's worth some points. And here we go, so we'll take the fish, take the housing to go to the back there. Trade house, nothing we can do with it, unfortunately. That stinks. Uh, and then the two temples in a row. And the tool makers, here it is, end of the game. There you go, round eight. All right, so that goes back in like that. And let's count up our victory points. So that's gonna be any stars in the active section, which is the top section, nothing, nothing. All right, there we go, two. Let's take this out, so two, three, four, six, 12, 15, 18, 21 points. Okay, so 21 points, not my best score ever, but a decent score. I probably could have done better. Not sure I made all the right decisions there, but I hope this gave you a good idea of how this game works. If you saw any rules errors, please be sure to mention it in the comments below and I'll then post it in the description as well. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you like my channel, consider subscribing. And until next time, if you're bored online, bored offline.